Hey guys, welcome to Individual Investor. It's time for another Magic Formula investing project. If this is the first time you're watching any of my Magic Formula investing videos, please make sure you check out my first video where I explain the entire process. Now, let's cut to the chase. Unfortunately, the Magic Formula continues to disappoint and is lagging behind the S&P 500. But like I said in my very first video, the goal here is to test the magic formula as explained in the book. So we have to carry on with the project for an entire three year period. Let's take a look. At the time of this video, we are in August 2023, which marks the first year of the third tranche of stocks that I bought last year. So it is time to refresh the five positions that correspond to this tranche of stocks. This is the summary. As we did last time, I ran the magic formula on the official website and got this list of 30 stocks with a market cap of 50 million and above. Now from this list, I applied the same rules that I have, I have been applying so far. So I decided not to continue with uh, consumer cyclicals because they are not performing well. Also healthcare stocks, the same. Uh, they are the worst performers in the magic formula um, portfolio in the, in, the, in the last 18 months. And uh, a few here, PRDO, SCPL and UIS, uh, showed up again, so I'm keeping them in their portfolio and I decided to add a consumer defensive one, MO or Altra Group, then an industrial one uh, for electrical equipment, a basic materials one and HPQ or Hewlett Packard uh, in the technology sector that actually showed up again. Uh, this was uh, one of the first stocks I bought in the portfolio. Then. Uh, it didn't show up, so I had to sell the position and now it's back in the list. So if we look now at all the positions, here's all the tranches. So from the last, uh, from July last year, okay, these are the ones that we're gonna sell or keep. So effectively none of them, but one uh, showed up. So I sold everything except for for uh, PRDO, and which is which is here, um, and then I added these other um, positions. Something worth noting is that if you see the gain loss of all the Magic Formula stocks, pretty much the only ones that uh, show a gain are the ones in industrials and technology and uh, energy as well. The other ones, healthcare, consumer cyclical, are not showing uh, gains at all. So I decided to just not add any more positions in those sectors for the time being. I'm just trying here to optimize a little bit the magic formula, even though according to the author, you're supposed to select stocks from, from the list. Um, it's better to use it as a filter and try to optimize it because as you've as you will see, the performance is not great. So let's go to my Interactive Brokers account. Here I run a report since the inception of the portfolio. And as you can see here, the, bench, the benchmark comparison against the S&P 500, the blue line is the S&P 500. So you can see that, sorry, the, the blue line is my uh, Magic Formula portfolio, you can see that started pretty well. And now it's sitting at minus 17.54% while the SPX index started out lagging the magic formula performance, but now is sitting at uh, minus 8.84%. So in fact, the magic formula is performing twice as badly as the S&P 500. 
All right, and with that, there isn't much else to say. Unfortunately, the magic formula is not living up to the expectation, but as I said in the beginning, we will carry on for another 18 months to see what the final result is. If any of you guys are testing the magic formula or have tested it in the past, please drop any comments in the comments section below. I will be super curious to see what your experience was. And if you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get notified with my latest content. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.